Welcome to File Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to use Ideogram V3 character on file to keep your character consistent across any scene or style in seconds. We'll go through the base model which is simple image to image, the edit model which allows for finer control and the remix model where we can use a reference image for a specific style. Let's jump in. Now we're over at the File AI Playground page for the Ideogram character base model and I'll go through all the settings here because the other two models have very similar ones. So the two basic ones are the text prompt this is just where we tell the model what we want to happen to the subject in our reference image. We also have a bunch of additional settings we can configure, so if I click on more, we can see them. For the image URLs, this is just where you can have additional images to guide the model better. So for example, if you want the subject in a particular scene, then attach an image of the scene here. For the rendering speed, turbo is the cheapest and fastest, but the lowest quality, whereas quality is the opposite, and balanced is a good default between the two. For the color palette, we can actually choose specific colors, like black, we can add another one, like a red, for example, and these are the colors that will show up in the image. For the name, this is where we have some pre-selected colors, like ember, which is more red and orange, jungle, which which is more green, for example, so we'll just leave this. For the style codes, this is where you can actually have your own hexadecimal codes. You can also choose a higher level style, so you can choose between a more realistic or a more fictional looking image. Expand prompt, if this is toggled on, it just means that an LLM will improve your prompt, so I'd recommend to leave this on. For the number of images, we can choose to generate up to eight in one go. I'd recommend around four, just to increase the chance that we get a great image. The seed, we can keep it random. If the seed's the same and all of the input parameters are also the same, then the output image will be the same. But we'd like to experiment so we can leave the seed random. For sync mode, if this is turned on, the image is taken directly from the response without having to go through the file CDN. For the image size, we can choose between any of these options or our own custom one. There's also the negative prompt where we put ideas we don't want to see in the output image. For example, if we don't want the image to look very cartoony, then we can write cartoon in this prompt here. For the reference mask URLs, this is where you can add your own masks, but the edit model does that better. So we'll check that out soon. Now for the prompt, this structure generally works very well. I will include this in the description and we'll see an example now. Okay, so now I'll use myself as an example, so I'll attach it here, and I'll get rid of this, and I'll use this prompt. Professional headshot portrait, person is confident and approachable, wearing a navy suit and white shirt. Background is soft, neutral studio. Lighting is bright, even, and professional. And I'll run this. So after less than 20 seconds, here's the result we get, and it's done exactly what I asked for. Now, here are some more creative results. The model is so good that even with such simple prompts, it was able to fill in the details perfectly, and it didn't change my face at all. One more thing I really wanted to show was how well the model can preserve my character, even when I ask it to completely change my pose. So I'll actually use this example, pull myself into here, and then I'll remove this. And then from woman, I'll change this to the man, and that's it, I'll run it. Now we can see that the model has done very, very well. In this completely different setting where I'm sitting down on this chair with a table in front of me holding and looking down at this cup, it still kept me looking like me. And for this sort of use case, Ideogram really is one of the best models out there. Now we're at the Ideogram character edit model page and I'll walk you through this with a face swap example. So the prompt is the same as before. We just tell the model in text what we want to happen. But now we have these two new images. So this image here will be the image that I want to swap my face into. And then this image here will be where I draw the mask to show the model where the face is. So again, I'm gonna add myself here, remove this one. And then for this one, I'm gonna add this scene of Clint Eastwood in The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. And I'll draw a mask now. So I'll cover his face with a mask, like so and then use mask so we can see that it's done the right mask here. If I go up here and now I write the man in a Western movie, this should swap my face onto Clint Eastwood. So run. Okay, so again, after about 20 seconds, it's done exactly what I wanted to. And now I can be the star of my own Western movie. So finally, we've arrived at the Ideogram character remix model. And in this model, we can use reference images to keep our character consistent in different art styles or settings. So I'll show you this now. Again, let's just add myself here and then remove this one. And now instead of this scene, let's have a scene like this. So this more like dark and somber scene. And then all I'll say in the prompt is the man in the dark scene. So it should now place me in that scene. And then we'll run this. So once again, on the first try, it's done exactly what I wanted it to. Now for the developers watching from any playground model page, you can go over to the API section and there's detailed instructions here on how to integrate these models into your platform in all of these different languages. To get your API key from the home page, just hover over manage and then API keys, add key, give a quick description and then create. 
The key is only shown once, so make sure you save it here. If you're a developer and you've never used Foul before, let me show you how ridiculously easy it is. I built this character generator in about 5 minutes. It's a Next.js app, I installed one package, created a single API route that calls ideogram v3 character base model through Foul, and built a simple form on the front end. That's it. The full code's on GitHub, link in the description. Grab an API key from Foul and build something today, it's that easy. That's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. This was only the fifth in the Fal Academy series with many more on the way. Please leave any video ideas or questions you might have in the comments and don't forget to check the description for the important links. For now, I'll catch you in the next one.